Hi guys, welcome to the Am My Gardener channel. Today we're going to be doing our potato harvest, which we're super excited about, are we? Yeah. Uh, yes, we are. It's something we always look forward to and the day is just so beautiful for us to do so. And Luke's going to tell you about how many different varieties we grew, so. Um. Yeah, so we, uh, as you guys know, we're in the year of diversity and that means we're growing as much biodiversity as possible. We planted one row of each variety of potato, and since our beds are 12 feet long and we could fit one row per foot, we got 12 different varieties to harvest. Now, um, I did make the mistake of not labeling each row, which was oopsie on my part, but it's gonna add more fun for the harvesting process because we'll know once we pull them up what they are, but I don't know what I planted. I, have no, I mean, I know what I planted, but I have no clue where what is in the bed, so that should be fun. And um, as a side note, before we get started though, it's been a long time since we've seen you. So why have we not seen you? We had some people thought, you know, I, there was people that thought we got a divorce. <laughs> there was people that, that, that thought uh, you were pregnant. There were people that thought, um, uh, I mean, there there was about every conspiracy <laughs> theory. Conspiracy there was a lot of conspiracy theory. theories going on. Oh, um, so you that. guys can put the tin foil away um, <laughs> and, uh, and, and just tell them the truth. Where have you been? Uh, just being, keeping busy, being a mom and you know, just adjusting with our several projects we have going on. So, and one thing that I think is uh, is noteworthy that that Mrs. Mi Gardner is doing is you guys all know if you don't know already, you know, welcome to the channel first of all because she's been an integral part of the channel since pretty much day one. Um, but one thing that Mrs. Mi Gardner does is she brings design to the to the uh, to the channel. <laughs> I do not have a design background, so she's actually in the process of redoing all of the seed packets for the Mi Gardner uh, seed store. And she's also working on redoing the website. Um, we're gonna be redoing the website and revamping a lot of things. And so she's been working on that. And she's just been putting so much, uh, you know, time. I was gonna say blood, sweat, and tears, but none of, the, <laughs> none of those have really gone into the, uh, no. there's not been any blood, sweat, or tears going into the website. So she's been putting a lot of time into it, a lot of effort. And so, um, so that's where she's been. And we're just really happy to have her in the garden, ready to do another video. And so uh, let's go, let's harvest, let's see what we got. It's gonna be interesting, it always is fun. And um, yeah, okay. welcome back. These are fingerling potatoes, Okay, honey. you're gonna look for a lot of small ones, all right? Wow, look at that. Check that out. There you go, pull those off. Whoa, here, do you wanna pass them to mommy? So we actually got quite a few good sized ones there, but that's, a, that's about as big as they're gonna get. <laughs> pull. Let me start pulling here, honey. There you go. Yep, you can start pulling. So all these are the same. Yep, right? those are all the Prince Edward. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these all bad ones. Like the soil is so nice and loose. Uh oh, here, look. Put those, those on top. The pile over here. So here's what we're gonna do, just to kind of gauge how productive each variety is compared to the rest of them. We were going to uh, we were going to pile them all up, but because it's kind of difficult to dig the bed plus pile them up, we're just gonna put them in a five gallon bucket before we put them in the wheelbarrow. And that way we're gonna have a visible reference in terms of how full or how many five gallon buckets full each variety provides. So it'd be a good way to kind of gauge the success of each variety and compare them so that you guys can have an idea of which varieties maybe to try in the future. Good job. First row done. First row is done. So um, I'll let you kind of be the guesstimator here. How many pounds do you think we got? So this is this is a half. This is half full. This bucket is half full. Um, I would say conservatively, this is probably uh, maybe 12 pounds. 12 pounds of potatoes. Here, lift it and tell me if you think 12 pounds. I would say so. You yeah. have to get a scale. <laughs> I, a fish scale would be so cool. Yeah. A little fish scale to hang it on the bucket. Yeah. That'd be sweet. We don't have one, so <laughs> later. On. Okay, so this next row is actually dead. Um, it's gonna make it really difficult to pull the plants up because they completely died back. They were the first to die, but the rest of them were not ready to pull yet. So we're kind of just gonna get what we get. Uh, we're gonna have to dig them up. It's gonna be a little bit difficult, but we'll make you know we'll make do. So unfortunately you really shouldn't let your plants die that much but um like i said the rest were still green and kind of still growing so i said well we're gonna have to do you know we're gonna have to do with uh do with it what we can so this is the um this is the uh german butterball is this one that is interesting how 
these ones died first because you plant them right at the same time. Yeah, you plant them all at the same time, but the thing is there's early potatoes, there's oh. late season potatoes. Wow! <laughs> That's the biggest potato. That is a huge potato right so there. Far. Yeah, okay. Unfortunate to say, the German butterball folks produced one nice sized potato and... The nice thing is they were not rotted or anything. They weren't rotted because, of, yeah, they should have been pulled a long time ago. Yeah. But that was the German butterball, folks, and that was from five plants. So five seed potatoes, probably about this size. Five seed potatoes about this size yielded this many potatoes. So you can't complain, but uh, if I was complaining, I'd say that was not probably the best plant to grow. Okay, now the next one is the Idaho russet. Now we already kind of saw them as we were as we we're getting into these ones here. They have a definite. They have more of a crackled skin than the um, than the German butterball. The German butterball is more of a yellow, creamy potato. These are more of like a brown. Uh, they're still kind of a softer flesh, but they're they're a little more brown. So we can tell a, d a definite difference here. So we weren't pulling the wrong potatoes. I need knee pads for my knees. Wow. I mean, look at that. And I, was, I still don't see we one that's bigger than the and butter. The not that one. I'm sure we're gonna uh, find a big one. Oh uh, yeah, we'll definitely have some big funny. ones. So, from the Idaho russet, we got about a third of a five gallon bucket. And I'd say this is conservatively probably about 10 pounds. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pull up each variety, one of each plant, and then we'll show you the clip that we get after we're done harvesting because it's gonna be like a 45 minute video if we keep doing this. Plus we're losing sunlight and we're also losing the attention span. So we're losing a lot of things here. Um, we're also losing battery. Okay, I don't know what these ones were. I'll have to go back to the very beginning and kind of see if I can't figure some of these out. Um, these are another white skinned uh, potato. I, I know I planted four different varieties of white skinned potato. So these are kind of like mystery potato number one. Um, I wish I knew. They're productive though, that's for sure. Okay, so I did remember what this variety was called. It's called Idaho Gold, and that's because it's a, a golden potato, but it's actually a cross between an Idaho Russet and a, uh, a Kennebec. And so they call it Idaho Gold. It didn't really fare very well for us, but um, I'd say all in all, we got probably, uh, I don't know, maybe five pounds. So not terrible, but not great. Next is the Purple Majesty. This is one we've grown before. It always produces really well, but um, it is, uh, it's an early potato, so it died off fairly early for us, and uh, it left us with nothing to pull up again. So uh, one of the downsides of not planting your potatoes all together, I should have planted early potatoes, mid-season potatoes, and late potatoes. That way we could have harvested the early potatoes when they were ready, the mid-season potatoes when they were ready, and the late-season potatoes when they were ready, and that's what we got from the Purple Majesty. We got about a third of a bucket. Really not that great for what we've gotten in the past from Purple Majesty. This also wins Pest Preferred Choice Award. In comparison to all the other varieties, these definitely were plagued by pests like pill bugs the most. They really just chewed up the life out of some of these and they're pretty much just goners. So these are most likely going to be picked through and eaten first because they probably won't have that long of a shelf life, but really disappointed with this year's uh, Purple Majesty haul. All right, so you can hardly see us, and that's because it's nine o'clock. We've lost our daughter's attention span, we've lost the battery life, and we've lost the sun. So we're just gonna pick it up tomorrow where we left off. But we did finish up harvesting this, uh, well, you can't even see what it is, <laughs> it looks like, but, but it's, uh, it's actually the Irish Eyes Yellow. So this Irish Eyes Yellow is um, an Irish uh, potato, and it did fairly well. It got a little scabby, um, was not in love with that, but it's not as bad as some of the others and that's because it's an Irish potato. It's very it's very important you get the pH right. And um, It's edible still. It's edible still. I do is just eat it sooner because it'll uh, affect the shelf life, but we'll skin them and eat them and whatever you want to do with them. But um, yeah, Ho are we gonna see you tomorrow for that other half? Maybe. Stay tuned. Yeah, well, you'll find out. <laughs> All right, see you guys tomorrow morning. So it is day two of the potato harvest. Unfortunately, Mrs. Emma Gardner is not with us today. Um, she had other things to uh, attend to, so I am here to finish up the potato harvest with you. So once I dug up the first potato, I immediately knew what it was, and that is the Pioneer Russet. I've been so excited for this one because I heard the yields were great, and I heard the flavor was absolutely incredible. So uh, we're gonna get these pulled up, and uh, let's see how many we got. Absolutely beautiful. So it's touted for its disease resistance and its pest resistance and uh, it's looking really nice. So this is the Pioneer Russet. 
really excited to grow this one. So I just harvested the Pioneer Russet and again, about a third of a bucket. Not terrible, but really not great. The fact that we planted five seed potatoes per row is telling me that there's a common trend here and that's that we just had a poor year for growing potatoes. You know, this is obviously nothing to complain about. It's gonna be food on our table and we're gonna really enjoy these well through winter, even into early spring. But the fact of the matter is, is that potatoes this year were just poor. You know, if one or two varieties did poor, but the rest did great, I could single those out and say, those are poor varieties to grow in this area. But because they're all doing poor, I could chalk that up to growing conditions. And I think one of the biggest uh, issues that we've had so far with our growing conditions has been the spring was really, really wet. At first, I thought that it was the summer was kind of dry. But the more I thought about it, I, rem I remembered I planted the, the seed potatoes just before June. And June was our wettest month on record. We had about five and a half, almost six inches of rain in the month of June alone. So potatoes are a crop that do not like to be soaking wet. And I think it contributed to some stress and possibly some nutrient depletion and also probably uh, attributed to obviously really poor yields. So yikes, the Red Norland did not pan out well. Out of five seed potatoes, we got this many potatoes. So pretty much we got exactly what we planted back um, with a few extras in there. All right, the next potato is the Russet Burbank. Now this is a larger Russet potato, typically more like what people would consider an Idaho Russet. It's the mainstay variety that is grown in Idaho. This is not Idaho, so it'll be interesting to see what we get. All right, so much better on the Russet Burbank. Really, really excited about this one. This is easily a half, uh, half bucket full and they're dense. They're pretty dense potatoes. I would say this is right around probably 13 pounds. So not too bad, not too shabby, and uh, really pleased with this one. Um, potatoes are real good size, and uh, they're all pretty consistent. So uh, definitely one that um, outperformed the rest for sure. Uh, I would say it, it kind of tied the, uh, the King Henry. So not too bad, and uh, we got one more variety to pull, and that is the, uh, the Yukon Gold. So that one always is pretty much everyone's favorite. So we'll see how that one kind of compared because that's actually one of the more popular varieties amongst all the varieties we grew. So it'll be kind of interesting to compare that one to the rest. So as they say, I think we saved the best for last. <laughs> the Yukon Gold definitely outproduced all the other varieties and I'm really, really happy with this. This is two thirds of a bucket, definitely right around 17 to 20 pounds. Super stoked about this. This also is uh, definitely a reason why it's a fan favorite because even in terrible growing conditions in a season that grew potatoes like absolute poop, we managed to get quite a lot of Yukon Golds. So I can definitely see why people still love it. And uh, it definitely ranks up there in number one for the uh, for production for this year. Now this is by no means a stellar harvest. We've gotten about uh, seven gallons of potatoes from our best year um, when it comes to uh, a single row of potatoes. So this is still about down 50% from our, our normal yields, but that's okay. I mean, like I said, nothing to complain about, especially when some, you could still see the bottom of the, the, bottom of the bucket. So not complaining at all. It just was, uh, it was a rough year for growing potatoes and you win some, you lose some. So cannot complain though, uh, because we got, we got food on the table. The final thing that I was gonna say was, we really only had two varieties that stood out. It was the King Henry and the Yukon Gold. The rest of them pretty much all tied for third, which doesn't really qualify in my opinion because, <clears throat> because they all did pretty bad. So um, all in all, we ended up with probably right around 90 pounds, maybe 100 pounds at most of potatoes. Um, our best year ever was 150 pounds. So we're down quite a lot from our, our best year. And given that we planted more potatoes than ever, does kind of raise the question, you know, obviously, should, what would we have gotten had everything been great? I think had everything been great, had we had a perfect year uh, with great growing conditions, um, I think we could have gotten right around 150 to 175 pounds of potatoes from this bed here. And so um, I think, you know, I can really chalk that up to just, it was a really, really poor year. We got about half the potatoes out of every pull we were expecting, some far less than half. So like I said, you win some, you lose some, but you take the good with the bad. It's been a great growing year so far for most of the stuff in the garden. And uh, this was just uh, this was just one of the ones that did not pan out as well as we had expected. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments box below how your potato harvest did, good or bad. I'd be interested to know. And as always, we'll catch you all on tomorrow's episode. Grow bigger, go home. Bye.